A loud blast sends pedestrians running along Bain Adelaide yesterday. That smoking vault comes two months after this. A series of blasts along King Street West forcing evacuations. Loud bangs followed by flames and thick black smoke filled the air, sending people running. Paul Conard, a former Toronto Hydro employee, says he's been warning this would happen for years now. We've been protecting this for years. It's kind of like protecting the, you know, uh, the weather. It's not a surprise. Um, there's going to be more. Conard was employed with the utility company for 33 years working on hydro vaults. He's part of the Toronto Hydro Retirees Group and says between 2015 and May 2017, they penned a series of letters to city leaders, including the mayor and Toronto Hydro. This one to the board of directors dated July 2016, reading in part, we are concerned that the lack of maintenance on the Toronto Hydro system is putting public and employee safety at risk and is also putting at risk the safety and security of the electrical supply for the city of Toronto. If they were doing proper maintenance, there wouldn't be any of these hydro vault uh, fires and explosions. Well, they're not checking the drains clear because we've had a lot of rain this year. They're not cleaning out the vaults. Toronto Hydro says it follows a regulated maintenance program supported by industry standards. We have a maintenance program that has a requirement set by the Ontario Energy Board to visit at least twice a year. And so that model and that program is based on a reliability-centered maintenance program. A typical inspection, let's say, we would look at things like oil levels, oil leaks, like drains that make sure they're not plugged, you know, just any visible signs of stress the equipment. Hydro crews inspect the over 1,000 vaults in Toronto at least twice a year, more often if they supply more buildings or are deemed vulnerable. This year we've experienced more rain and just extreme weather conditions. So um, just for those reasons, we've also increased um, the inspections. Um, of the vault. The utility company admits the two vault incidents in the downtown core this year are rare, saying before May, the last hydro vault explosion was in 2015. While crews are still trying to determine what caused the cable failure in yesterday's incident, Toronto Hydro suspects flooding caused by heavy rainfall in Toronto is to blame for the vault fire back in May. Conard says the group of retired hydro workers are hoping to meet with the mayor to discuss their concerns. This is a public safety issue. There are literally hundreds of restaurant cafes and bars sitting right on top of these double transformer hydro vaults. In an email statement, John Tory's office tells us the mayor is confident that Toronto Hydro is committed to ensuring public safety. He has thanked them along with other emergency crews for their quick response and Friday nights of vault fire. Now, while making repairs here at Bain Adelaide, Toronto Hydro tells us there was additional equipment at a nearby vault that also needed to be repaired. That work is currently underway and is expected to last throughout the weekend. Faisal Amin, City News.